Six fugitives traveled for three months from the Belize River to the Peten town of San Pedro Chinoa in 1729. Lawrence H. Feldman is quoted in Free Your Mind, Dr. Ayondofe Iyo. Black female sexuality has been a point of contention, taboo, and shame in the Americas since the first slave ships touched ground. Few mainstream accounts of history in the Americas ever dwell on whether Africans did or thought of anything different sexually, other than to postulate them as less sophisticated or without social mores, versus the Europeans who enslaved and colonized them. Untitled essay on Afro-diasporic booty dances and black female sexuality, Saira Kelly. Before I knew what misogynoir was and how it operates, or even developed the language to articulate it from reading about it, I sensed it. Every black girl does. Every black woman does. Being a black woman in a post-colonial space is neither being seen nor heard, so you have no references with which to construct your black womanhood. Being a black woman in a post-colonial space is having stereotypes fixed on you as descriptors of who you are and should be. It's white men, non-black men, and yes, even black men, because anti-blackness, especially misogynoir, are the very backbone of the colonial mindset, being deeply disgusted by you, while deeply lusting after you. It is a disease dynamic. Truly, it is in the deep arch of my back, the simultaneous lift of my hips and derriere, that I found healing, a deeply rooted ancestral healing, reaching out to all my sisters, to every black woman body now and throughout history, which has been weaponized against her by white supremacy.